So hi, I'm Aaron Woland. I'm a principal engineer with Cisco's Advanced Threat Security Group, and I'm going to do a quick video here for you on how to prepare an iOS device for the Cisco Security Connector using Apple's Configurator 2 app on a Mac. So the solution is to use the Apple Configurator 2 app on Mac OS, so an iMac, a MacBook Pro, a MacBook, whatever, something that runs Mac OS with the Apple Configurator 2 app to configure an iOS device that is plugged in with a USB to lightning cable uh, or you know, USB-C to lightning cable or whatever you need for your iOS device running 11.3 or above on iOS. And you're going to create blueprints and then apply these blueprints to the device. And we'll explain why and what that means. But we have to convert the device over to being supervised, tell it what organization is controlling the device, and then join it up to the MDM. And then the MDM takes care of all the rest, as you've seen in the other demos. And with that said, let's move on to taking a look at the Apple Configurator 2 app and how to do all that. Within the Configurator 2 app, we click Blueprints, Edit Blueprints, then click New in the bottom left. We're going to name this Untitled Blueprint, which is like a template. I'm going to name mine ATW Meraki 2. As you can see, I have other blueprints here already. Now we're going to click on this blueprint and click prepare, just like we're preparing an actual device. We're going to choose manual configuration. We're not using the device enrollment program, but we are supervising the device. Now we're going to create a new MDM server here, and I'm going to name it and then paste in the link from my MDM, which in my case is the Meraki MDM, which is the uh, systems manager. I'm going to paste that in from the tool so that this device will connect automatically and enroll. We click Next. It's going to pull down the certificates. We accept those certificates by clicking Next. And we have to tell it an organization. The organization is basically defining you know, what is controlling this device. If it asks you for DEP, click Skip because we are not using DEP. Now we put in information about the organization that is controlling or owning this device. In my case, Cisco ATS TMEs, my fake phone number, my super secret fake email, maybe even a fake address. We're going to generate a new supervision identity. This is for that organization itself, and you can put that identity on the server if you start to use DEP or other server services. You can choose what steps to display to the end user. To make things faster, choose only specific steps or give them all of the steps. All right. If you don't want them to have to go through display zoom or region or keyboard, touch ID, you can pick these individual things that you do want your end users to experience when they actually connect or, or open the device for the first time, if you will, and try to use it for the first time because they're still going to get that setup assistant in the beginning. And then we click prepare to prepare this blueprint and um, you know we have to allow the certificate to be trusted if that props up right and we should be ready to go now for the device okay so now we've connected the device you'll see in the Apple configurator it shows up it's been factory reset so hello is uh, you know what's showing up here on the screen and what I've done is I've tried to share the screen using QuickTime so on the left-hand side, we've got the configurator, and on the right-hand side, we've got a screen sharing happening for the device itself, okay? And so what we're going to do then is highlight the device. We are going to right-click on the device. We are going to apply the blueprint. We click Apply. And now we're waiting on the device. So what's happening is the Configurator 2 app is communicating to the device and pushing this blueprint down to it so that um, as I walk through the startup wizard as I call it but the the startup process on the device itself which we'll be watching on the right hand side um, we will actually see you know um, all those changes that I push through on that blueprint 
um, be there, such as we're going to have to apply the um, remote configuration. Now, there is a, a situation with um, the screen share. Well, it will not show you what... Um, it will not show you the screen until after I join the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to join the Wi-Fi right now as it does not want to show that. I'm um, assuming for uh, privacy concerns, it won't let you share the um, Wi-Fi password on the screen share like that. So let me get that done. Okay. Um, now that uh, we've put in the Wi-Fi password, the next thing that shows up is the data and privacy screen. Um, we're just going to click continue to go through that. And you get this screen that now says remote management. And you'll see here it says Cisco ATS TMEs, which is what I named that organization, if you remember. And um, this is basically stating that the this organization of Cisco ATS TMEs is allowed to administer this account. So we click on apply configuration and we click next and now this is going to join it to the Meraki MDM in my case or whichever MDM you've used now we get to the touch ID which I'm going to set up later okay. don't use touch ID create a super secret terrible password that you should never use because it's super easy to guess but since I'm on a video here I'm going to use a password that I would never use in real life Okay, so now as I'm setting up my Apple ID, um, I have it configured to use two-factor authentication because naturally you should use two-factor authentication um, as a security best practice. Have to black that out in the video. And now we are continuing with the setup. It may take a few minutes. So, you know, we've applied the blueprint. The phone could then be shipped to the employee Right, and then the employee takes the phone out of the box and starts going through the steps that you just saw me go through. Right, so this is them putting in their Apple ID, them agreeing to the device supervision and being managed by the MDM. Right, and it's it's all ready for the employee. Or if they're, you know, hopefully you would use the DEP program, the device enrollment program, which has now been uh, upgraded to the Apple Business Manager. And all of this would happen behind the scenes for the employee. Uh, instead of ha you having to manually convert the device to supervised using the Apple Configurator 2 app. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to use this app because we use it a lot in our pilots and uh, um, you know demos and so forth. So now, um, you know, location services. I'm not going to use iCloud Keychain. I am going to customize the home button later. I'm going to pick the standard view and move next on this device and we're all ready to go. Device is done because it's joining the MDM. Any minute now we should see the MDM uh, push down some apps, right? Um, assuming that the MDM is configured for that. So, Which the MDM is configured because I just saw the Meraki MDM app show up and the Cisco security connector app should be next up oh, there we go Cisco security connector app is installing it is now installed if we actually go look at our device management Meraki profile we'll see here the DNS proxy setting in the profile which is the actual setting for umbrella and the web content filter setting which is the clarity setting and if all's well as I think it should be this device should be all greens protected by umbrella on IPv4 and v6 all right we are protected by clarity all right, uh, IPv4 and IPv6, and we are set. Thank you for watching the video, and I hope this uh, does help you with your uh, Cisco Security Connector pilots and using the Apple Configurator 2 app to uh, get your phone set up.